Okay, so let's have a look at some complex analysis. And we're going to find the residues of the cosine of z divided by z to the power of 5. Now, the residues of any complex function are found when there's a singularity of this function here, cosine z over z to the 5. So what we're looking for is when the denominator equals 0. So if we just let f of z equal cosine of z over z to the power of 5. So what we're looking for is z to the 5 equals 0. So what we want is z to the 5 equals 0. So when we've got this situation in the denominator, we can say that this function, so f of z, has simple pole, as a simple pole of order 5 at z equals 0. So the solution for this, z to the 5 equals 0, plug in z equals 0, we get five separate solutions there. So that's what we've got here. So how are we going to find the residues of this function? Well, one way we can use is the Laurent series. So let's write this down. And the term in the Laurent series that we're interested in, with this question here looking for the residues, is the point at z to the minus 1 or 1 over z. That's the term in the Laurent series that we're interested in. And the Laurent series is very similar to the Taylor series. So looking at this function here, well, we know the Taylor series for cosine and z to the 5, we can just uh, put that into our cosine Taylor series. So as we're interested in the pole at z equals 0, the Taylor series, let's write this down here, the Taylor series at z equals 0 is just simply 1 minus z squared over 2 factorial plus z to the 4 over 4 factorial minus z to the 6 over 6 factorial and then so on and so on and I'll, we just write that down just to see that it goes on okay so now what we can do is we could just divide this by z to the power of 5 and then hopefully we can find a term here let's see what happens so let's write this term here Let's just leave that as it is. And then we'll multiply it by 1 over z to the 5. So if I just write that in there. So then we just distribute this 1 over z to the 5. We end up with 1 over z to the 5. So distributing with that one. Distributing with this one, we've got z squared divided by z to the 5. And then we've got the minus sign. So we end up with a z cubed. And then the 1 will go in the numerator. And then the 2 factorial, I can just bring down here. My well, 2 factorial is 2, so I can just write that in there. OK, z to the 4. So I bring through the plus sign. z to the 4 divided by z to the 5. We'll end up with a 1 in the numerator. And then we end up with a z in the denominator. And then 4 factorial is simply 24. So I can just write 24 here. So I'll just give us a bit more room. 24z. OK, then one last term here. We don't need to worry about this term here. This is just what it would diverge to. So minus z to the 6 divided by z to the 5. So that just gives us a z now in the numerator. And then 6 factorial is 720. OK. So that's our Laurent series that we've got here, and we could go on and on. Okay, so the term we're interested in here is the 1 over z. Well, the 1 over z term is here. So these we're not interested in. We're just interested in this term here. So we can write this as 1 over 24 times 1 
over z. So this 1 over 24 is our coefficient that we're interested in to find our residue of this function. Well, as we've got 1 over 24 as our coefficient, we can just simply write the residue of our function f at the point 0, so that's where the point here has this, this function has a singularity, equals 1 over 24. And that takes care of our answer.